my supervisor instructed me to take a picture of the 480 volt bus bars inside the bus duct. He told me to climb up on the ladder and showed me around and told me to remove the shroud. So I was following directions. I wanted to do a good job. I had no OSHA training, no electrical training, actually no training whatsoever. I don't think I heard the word safety during my entire time with the company. And so, as a good employee, I climbed up on the ladder and I was going to do what I was directed to do. I started by removing the shroud so I could get a good picture. My whole entire body has been ignited on fire. I try to pat myself down, but the flames won't die. So I begin to stop, drop and roll. My clothes are still on fire. I look left, terrified. I see a fire extinguisher, but I remember that particular fire extinguisher was out of compliance and I had to find another way. After looking left, I look right and see a fire extinguisher down the hall. And I run as quickly as I can while burning alive. My melted skin is now covered in a white foam from the fire extinguisher. coughing, disoriented, and dizzy. I make my way back to the electrical room where I see it is still on fire. Everything in the room is melted. I try to regain my balance just enough and wonder why no one is coming to help me. My skin is burning terribly, and I try to walk in such a way to not stretch my skin out, but every step that I take is completely agonizing. I put my hands out, and I'm walking like a zombie. My clothes and skin are still smoking. Finally, I see a person. I tap on the door with my feet as I'm in too much pain to knock. As a last resort, I knew I had to go down to the fourth floor because I knew there was most likely going to be more people present. Because it consisted of the C-suite and the executive office. Finally, I made my way downstairs. I'm completely disoriented. I've got my hand on my chest. I'm coughing. I can barely make it down the stairs. get to the bathroom. I quickly call out, would someone help me? I'm gasping for air and dying of thirst, but there's just a trickle coming out of the sink. I began to wash my hands and notice my fingernails were completely bent backwards from the heat. I consciously could not look at my face in the mirror and looked away after seeing my fingernails. I recognized two of the people that were in the bathroom. One who ran the Orthodox Volunteer Ambulance Squad that was based in the building. I call out again, please help me. Please, help me. Go my way. My boss arrived in the bathroom. How did you expect me to do that? I asked. He kissed me on the forehead and whispered, I'm sorry. He proceeded to take my phone and my keys from my pocket. Call an ambulance and my wife, I begged. <laughs> 